guys, it's Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands here again. Um, today we're going to be stone painting. So, this one was painted by my very good friend Alison as a gift from me and we had a lovely session doing some um, stone painting and we used the acrylic uh, markers and we painted a stone for each other. So that lovely one was done for Al by Alison and my other half made this one for me. So that, that's the sort of thing we're going to do. I've been asked by a colleague at work to do an Irish cottage. So this one's for you, Phil. So I very roughly sketched out the picture that I quite... There'll be an insert to show you what the actual picture looks like. So I'm going to start with the brown and the thatch of the cottage is brown and the chimney is brown. Now I need to prime my um, paint pens. I have some other different style paint pens as well. Jeffy Noop, probably massacring that pronunciation marker pens. These are the ones we use to do the hand with. So I know that this chimney here is brown. What I use to mark the stone is my little white pencil crayons that I got from Timu. They're me meant to be for fabric, but I thought I'd try them out. And it gives you a sketch, so it's a sketch with. Now the actual brown of the roof is a bit more of a um, Bit more of a hay colour shall we say so again i've got to prime that one and i'm going to do stripes down and i'm going to overlap it with different colour um tones of brown but i'm doing the stripes the same way you would expect them to go and different lengths as well because it would all be the same length as the, the property sort of thing I don't think these particular have any colours or numbers to them. They're from my scent, a set skin tone acrylic painters. So if that helps. Now I've got a, a more browny one. Oh, I've got to prime that one as well. Looks like I haven't used this one yet either. So slightly darker dot that round just building up the shades got it quite a dark brown here now if they don't work very well what you can do is just rub them off you know you might have over something else that's clogged them up and sometimes there's a bits of residue on the stones I have washed them but they can be like residue from the dust of the stones that can block the nibs and we're getting sort of tonal values now coming through on the layering all the gaps for the stone would be right, one more colour on there I think and that's another all different browns just down the bottom here just to give it the, that sandy color okay so that is the roof almost done now i need a color to go in between here but i don't want it to be too dark i think i might try this one Let's see how that works I am glancing across across occasionally to an image on another screen so that I've got something to refer to. So yeah, that's nice. I like that. And just a tiny bit of darkness in there. Spot it in. Lovely, so that's me. Now I need a little bit more brown up on these trees, this tree. 
think we're going to go for the the pinks and the whites of the actual house now. Now this bit's a bit darker down this side. I'm not all that good at perspective yet, but I'm working on it. This is the side of the cottage. Got a little bit of bleed through there, but that's fine. I cover that up. Now I need a sort of a, a beigey colour, I suppose. Oh, well, that's looking quite good in the. It's probably going to look nothing like the picture, but this is the fence. A little fence down here. Trying to do bits away from each other so that um, they. I'm not my hand in the wet paint so to speak that's why i'm dotting about this one it is i'll go back over them in a minute with a slightly pinkier color so let's do the windows Now this bit here is a white wall or a block at the end of the driveway. So I'm going to turn it a little bit. I want to do around the edge of the roof now. can do it with a paintbrush but I find it easier doing it with the pen as you get more slightly more detail until the pen pen blobs and then you stuck. <laughs> nice she's in like a farmyard with chickens and stuff and then there's a seed sky behind so we'll be using blues in a minute. Let that dry and go back over it. Now the door is a, a black colour but oh, I suppose that's the colour they are. Yeah. Yeah, right, I think my chickens are bigger than the house but sometimes. So this bit here is just basically brick wall. I think the trees are this over, this fence over a little bit to line up with my wall. There. Need a little bit of tone on my brown for the brickwork because it's like stone. Got 
got a grey path. This bit here. Now, why is the path coming from the front door? It's a path coming from the front door. It seems to be coming from the side of the house. It's what the mouth? Come on. Try. Come on, we'll have to audition something else. Well, that doesn't want to come out. Give it a shake. I've got a grey in there. Creamy, pearly white, but not a grey. Ah, gotcha. I'm just doing sort of a, almost a scribble on it at the moment because I'll go back over it just to give me a, a guideline with it. And I'm only using the picture as a guide as well, I'm not just doing an exact replica. Never, never make that. Green around the side of the. Use a few different greens. Still. Green that side here. And here. Fence. Over here. Where the chickens are. these chickens I think is a cockerel so let's give them a bit of a crop I think we call it. We're getting there. Definitely getting there. So what would be the best we can fill in this um highlight these a bit more of a boxy look. Turn. I like the edges a bit. Okay. Do some background, don't we? So now we go into the blues or the sky. Oh no, we need a different green here, don't we, for the... We haven't finished the grass yet. Oh goodness, that's a bit bright. we will tone that down a bit. I have to use the paint a, a green. My um, new ones. I'll do that with the, the fine brush. around for some flowers and some red maybe. Give it the illusion of flowers in the garden. So it's my interpretation of it. So we've got a bit of blossom in the tree there. Beautiful. Okay, coming along nicely. You chickens are getting lost in there. I may need to um, go around with my marker, my liner. There, looks a little bit more like your chickens there. 
So now we just need to do the sky and the sea. So we've got blues. Let's get some of these other ones back in here out of the way. Not the blue sparkly. We've got our blues here. Uh, and an aqua for this watercolour. Right, so we're going to do a bit of a voiceover here. Um, and uh, we've sped up the video a little bit. I'm putting a turquoisey aqua colour in for the sea. And, uh, where I've blobbed the paint out the pen, I'm using a brush to pick that up. I found these paint pens a little bit too thick nibbed for fine detail or for uh, they tend to be a bit blotchy so I'm putting it on the paper and then transferring it onto the stone. I found that a little bit easier. I'm coming with a darker blue for the sky. Um, at high in sight what I should have done is done the sky and the green, the grass and the, the walls and that and done that before I'd done the trees and the building and then I would, wouldn't have had to sort of try and draw around them and that's the sort of more Bob Ross style so we'll do your background and then come in from the foreground just doing a lighter blue around the oh I've obliterated the chimney oh dear comes back at the end because I've seen the picture at the end and it does come back. A little bit of light blue. I've only got a little brush but that's just enough to pick up the dabs. The other reason we're doing the voiceover is because where I was dabbing the pen so much it was very noisy and um, sort of echoey. So we're, we're doing we're doing the clouds. Trying to sort of smooth it through. Um, they, with most painting, you layer, layer, get the layers right. Coming back in, a little bit of lightness. Um, I think that's supposed to be sky under the tree, but put some more branches on to try and uh, cover it up a little bit. coloured leaves and a bit more grass down there and yep yeah, I'm getting the chimney back so um, I think we're nearly finished on the voiceover now uh, I'll see you on the outro yeah I'm pretty happy with that um, probably not going to be a huge long video this one, but I only had the one stone left to paint, so bye-bye for now, and I'll see you in the next one. Much love.